Yeah, you know, when it comes to tropical systems, it doesn't even have to be a hurricane. Just a tropical storm can contain so much moisture. And unfortunately, even the Northeast, as we, we were just talking about this, Keith, they've been dealing with rain since the beginning of summer, a lot of rain events for them. And so, of course, uh, all that Ida rain just piled up on a very saturated area. All right, back here at home, we've been dealing with rain. We've seen the flooding and brickle that happened, I think, Thursday and then again today. Today, another round of storms expected. Right now, though, if you are in the Upper Keys and Tavernier and Isla Morada, now you can start maybe putting the umbrellas away because finally the rain is tapering off. But it was a hefty thunderstorm rolling through the area. Still some light drizzle over you in Tavernier, but that's coming to an end. Now notice, where are these showers and storms tracking? They're tracking in from the west. So anything that develops to the west of us, to the west of our cities, are going to come our way. So. It will become a stormy one so far the morning, despite that one thunderstorm in the upper keys. It actually has been pretty quiet. Now, the main impacts for today is uh, flooding, straight flooding, because we've had rounds of rainfall at least the past two days. So uh, it's going to be easy for some areas that could get that street flooding as we saw what happened in Brickle. Now, Lightning, of course, is going to be frequent with any thunderstorm that develops. As far as hail and tornadoes go, that risk is at none, but wind gusts, uh, damaging wind gusts could be possible with these thunderstorms and even water spouts. So boaters keep that in mind. Let's uh, talk about what we can expect through this afternoon. So we're going to start with Miami-Dade because I think Miami-Dade is going to get the thunderstorms developing first in the southwestern area. So, so far pretty quiet, but then the model depicting these isolated thunderstorms popping up near Homestead by around 1.40 p.m. And then it starts to become scattered over Kendall and eventually over South Miami and close to downtown Miami by 3 p.m. So basically Basically 3 p.m. and after that, that's when we expect those heavy downpours. Even through this evening, a similar story for Broward, but Broward, the rain will probably start for you later than Miami Dade. So possibly by 2, 2.30, then especially as we head into the 3 o'clock hour, that's when we expect the heavy rainfall to start spreading across the area. We are to the south of this front, a stationary front. So of course, southwest flow is intact and we're going to keep things quite stormy through the weekend even as we head into Labor Day on Monday. All right, Jennifer, thank you.